Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your September 2019 love reading. This is a love reading, so um, it's going to focus on love. It could resonate with you, it could not. I hope that it does. Let's get into it. Alright, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Sag, what's going on with you? Let's see. You're looking for a sign. He's got a yes answer. Ooh, communicate clearly and yes. Double yes. Okay. Let's see what's going on for your partner, Sag. What's the energy for the person that Sag is coming to the reading for? Energy that the person that sad just come into the reading for it. romance that's what's on their mind they want to reconsider something that's unlikely okay and it's up to you they have it's up to you right. what rests between you two is forgiveness all right so this might be a situation where there might be a coming back together or someone is thinking about coming back together someone is thinking about returning uh there could be um it could be a taurus involved here there could be a water sign involved here capricorn all right let's see look for a sign that just flipped out so some of you may be resting in an air of anxiety mental anxiety about possibly about an ending with an air sign gemini libra aquarius or with a water sign like i said uh cancer pisces scorpio because there might be an air of discontentment boredom uh, i'm hearing no freedom this person there's a change of home. They moved in with you. And there's like buyer's remorse here in regards to establishing some roots, some stability, home move. You don't even know if these, this person is good for your children or something like that. So you're looking for a sign maybe in regards to ending um, some specific path with air sign cancer pisces scorpio gemini libra aquarius um so yeah that's where you are with that something keeps you up at night in regards to yeah separating going after what you want it may be an air of addiction here too Something about children and reestablishing. Yeah. We have a yes answer. We have two yes answers. <laughs> so let's see what the first yes answer is. Two of swords. Yeah. You or someone else is of two minds. Could be a Libra. Um, there's indecision here because there's opposition opposition comes from feeling like you don't know the whole story feeling like you don't know what the outcome will be Feel, there's also you needing to get under some type of mentorship either spiritually or it, it might be in regards to your career you, you have not had what you wanted yeah, this might be in regards to your psychic abilities and or feeling like there's an air of telepathy here. Yes, yes, you can pick up on someone's, someone else's energy, their thoughts, how they feel. Um, even if they're blocking you, even if there's uh, blockages here. Uh, There is indecision within a relationship, a marriage, or some type of contract. 
because you don't know how this is going to turn out. Also, you may be blocking real commitment. There's fear of commitment. You haven't had what you wanted because of fear of commitment. You may be blocking that. You may be warding off. Or you're trying to ward off um, some suitors. A lot of attention. Give me one more card for this yes answer. Yeah, I knew it. Uh, so you may be indecisive about division. There's division within your heart. It belongs to, your heart belongs to someone else. Could be a Taurus, like I said. Uh, there might be indecision in regards to divorce and or separation. You feel differently about it. But yes, it looks like there is an impending divorce or separation. Maybe due to infidelity. Maybe due to abuse. Abuse of. You know, you fill in the blank. There's something that someone can't get over. Can't get past. It could be you or it could be get past something that happened. Someone's willing to do battle for you also. Someone feels like there was failure there. Either you or someone else you're dealing with. And maybe that's what keeps you stuck and tied to Sag. Communicate clearly. Communicate clearly. The Cancer and Capricorn. Didn't I say Capricorn? Communicate clearly about the changes that you want to make, about what you're doing for you, about the choices that you're going to make, whether they're, what is this Knight of Pentacles? Someone could be thinking that you are playing games, that you have not matured, that you are a liar, that you aren't trustworthy, but you love them and you want a new start with them. If this just looks like history though. Um, you need to communicate clearly about how you want a beneficial change here with them how you you making choices to maybe even come out of some negative addiction the fear of how it, it's how it's foundational meaning that this is here to stay someone doesn't feel like you're for real about this they can't trust you you have excuse me you have been untrustworthy So you're going to have to communicate clearly about this newfound level of maturity and coming into Ace of Cups. How you may have gotten under some spiritual guidance and awareness of self first. How you want to reinvent yourself here. You got another yes answer, so let's clarify that. Eight of Pentacles. Yes, it takes doing the work on yourself. Yes, maybe you have been doing the work on self. Been keeping your head down. Because you're trying to get back to a level of, of having a better reputation with someone. Better clarity, better reputation, fame. Um, how, other people's, how other people view you. Maybe even in business or as a father. Back to mother fatherly energy here. Looking for a sign. 
Hmm. Once again, want to have a better reputation with your children, your family, the mother of your children, mother. As a businessman, businesswoman, you understand that the connection or the you, maybe in the past or maybe now connection was off. You were in something that did not marry you perfectly, marry your energy. You were either very materialistic or you are or you were money was overly important there was a money was going out just out there was something that you were doing habitually well now where now you have to work towards getting back to that level of um, that emperor level there might have been a connection a relationship that you were in or are in cancer Pisces Scorpio I don't know that it's not good for you it, it's not good for your health and well-being it's not good for your money all right so what another person has on their mind is romance not if they're hoping and wishing and praying for this with you they have been without you one more card for romance okay yeah they want the opportunity to bring it back they want to give you good news. They want to give you... It's almost a conditional statement. Like we can have romance and get this back if... Reconsider is on their mind. They might be reconsidering you as an option, as a partner. Reconsidering the partnership. This is directly related to the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Once again, we got Taurus showing up too. Um, they may be reconsidering the connection, even though they have very little faith, lack of confidence, and it moving toward an equal partnership. But they're. They're okay with reconsidering or maybe even salvaging. Unlikely. What is unlikely? Okay. All right, so if you got secret plans of trying to reestablish or hold on to a family dynamic, a relationship, a marriage, children, a home, don't release, release that. If that's in your dreams, that you you get this, yeah, and that's you, King of Wands coming up, release it. Your person is has unlikely. It's unlikely that. Excuse me. It's unlikely that uh, that what they're dreaming about with you and the secret plans that they may have that you could be dealing with a Piscean person of them trying to hold on to you and take things to another level. It might be unlikely for them. We see here that we have a Sagittarius who is really recon like considering a breakup, a breakdown, a, a dismissal. Wow. Yeah, it's it's unlikely that they're going to get what they want. In regards to it could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio in regards to their own happiness. They're going to be hurt. This is a lose-lose situation. We have someone in between. We have something or someone cropping back up from the past, and that's why they this person may not get exactly what they want. It's unlikely. Will of Fortune. This is the fortune that 
something's ending here. One more card, just to be clear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Eight of Cups. That someone feels as if happiness, wholeness is somewhere else. It could look very good to this person, but there might be a walking away. And it might be the Aries Sagittarius, you Sagittarius, or the Cancer Pisces Scorpio will walk away because they feel like it's a lose-lose situation. Failure rest here in dealing with you Sag. It's unlikely that they're going to get what they have. I'm here in their wildest dreams. Um, it's up to you. They have also, they have it's up to you. Yeah, Six of Swords. Ten of Swords. The Hierophant. Three of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, Lord. I don't even want to go there. This is unfortunate. Okay, so they have it's up to you. Basically, basically, <laughs> these cards say that they can make the choice to have peace with the fact that this could very well be ending Ten of Swords. Because they're, they can't, this, this relationship is not grounded. It's not rooted. It may be rooted in romance, or maybe even a love affair. It might be rooted in drama. There's like a third party situation here. So either they could just make peace with the fact that it was never going to turn into whatever it is they thought it was going to turn into. Or they can get dragged and then eventually end up single anyhow. Or make peace with it. Yeah. Make peace with this relationship. Reevaluate how it's going. And make a final decision. Yeah. Maybe one that this person needs to make a decision that directly benefits them. Yeah. It's nothing but hurt here. Okay. So that's that. Um, let's get the best 17 minutes. Jeez. The course of advice or best advice best advice for Sag and then we're closing this out some of you are trying to prove to someone a marital partner maybe estranged that you're better you've done better you got your money together you got your addictions together whatnot uh, the best course of advice is to speak your truth it may come off a little aggressive or confrontational, but I think they understand that you're well-meaning. It's just that the the flow of the words, the the verbal, um, you know, you expressing yourself verbally comes off a bit um, immature. Okay, we got justice in reverse. Some some of you don't want a divorce. You don't want someone to walk away from you. You feel like they're the best thing that ever happened to you. Wow. Um, the best course of advice. This is not allowing karma to happen. What you put out coming back to you. Not being fair. Don't, don't. It says, okay, well, I'm going to read it. It says, be fair. Don't not be fair. Or, yeah. Eight of water. Return to whomever you have feelings for. You only have one life to live. Speak what it is you want to speak. To maybe air sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You got to take action on this. This is what you're hoping and wishing for. Or this is who you're hoping and wishing for. It's a very positive connection. Maybe you can get what you want here. But don't be unfair. Um, 
don't be unapologetic and be humble. That's what that is. Forgiveness here. Ask for forgiveness if you messed up. Or allow someone to ask forgiveness uh, of you. You know, ask for your hand and forgiveness. Okay? Thank you, Sag. This is the best course of advice for you. It looks good. You might have to get out of one situation and go to another for some of you. For some of you is trying to get back to a situation. Uh, okay, all right. Take care, guys. All links are below. Book your own reading there. Use coupon code 10OFF35. Bye.